Nicole the Math Lady, and today we are talking about the area of rectangles, which I think is a pretty easy topic, and I think you will too. I have some manipulatives to show you. I'm coming closer, okay? I'm going to zoom in. So here is my Mickey Mouse block set. Okay, actually, it's my son Justin's, um, but I play with it occasionally. And we have, it's filled in with these wooden blocks. Up until now, we have learned perimeter, right? Remember, perimeter is the length around the outside. But when we're talking about area, we are talking about the area that is filled, the space that is filled in in the middle. And we divide them into equal blocks. So I have one block here and another here. And if I counted them all up, we would find out that I've got really quickly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks. So six, and they're square. So we would call the area of this Mickey Mouse thing 16 square units. Okay, now how does that relate to math when they give you a math problem? Let's go back to the board. So I have a rectangle here and I have divided it into some units. We know that it's going to be, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six units across, and one, two, three, four, five units down. Well, very simple formula for finding the area of a rectangle, and here's what it is. Length times width. So my length, my length is six units. My uh, width is five units. When I multiply them together, I get 30. Now here's the key. Here's the kicker when it comes to area. I have 30 square units. The square thing is important. It has to be in every one of your answers. 30 square units because I'm going to take one of my Mickey blocks here. I divided them up into equal square parts. Okay, let's try another problem. Here's another example. When we usually see uh, area problems, it'll look more like this. Instead of saying units, they'll say centimeters or inches or meters. It'll have some unit of measurement. So I have a rectangle here that is 12 centimeters long and five centimeters wide. And remember, what's the formula? Area equals length times width. I'm gonna write it down. Area equals length times width. So let's just fill it in. 12 times 5 equals 60. But are we done? No, no, no. Remember I told you it has to always have a label of square. And this time our unit isn't just unit. They gave us a measurement, which is centimeters. So 60 square centimeters. Or another way you can write it is 60 centimeters square with a little two up in the corner. All right, one more example. You can use area to go backwards and find the length of a side of a square. For example, if I told you that the area of this square, okay, I know it's not perfectly squared, I can get my ruler out, but pretend it's a square, and so each side is equal, and I told you the area was 25 inches squared, would you be able to find the length and the width? Well, think about it. We know the length and the width with a square is equal. So what number times what number gives me 25? What number times itself? Five. So five times five is 25, which means that this side is five and this side is five. So is this side, I'll write it in the inside, so is that side. So if I ask you what was the length of this square, you would say five inches. What if I took it one step further? I said, what's the perimeter now? That I gave you the area and you know the length, what's the perimeter? Well, we know perimeter is just adding up all of the sides. Five plus five plus five plus five, which is the same thing as saying five times four, so we know the perimeter equals 20 inches. And that's a huge difference on the way we label it. With perimeter, it's just inches. But with us area, it's inches squared. And that's it. That is your lesson on area. I told you it was easy. You got it? All right, good. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.